യൂണിറ്റ് ടെൻ ഫെമിനിസ്റ്റ് അപ്രോച്ച് കണ്ടൻസ് ടെൻ പോയിൻറ്റ് വൺ ഇൻട്രൊഡക്ഷൻ ടെൻ പോയിൻറ്റ് ടു റിലേഷൻഷിപ്പ് വിത്ത് കോമൺ സെൻസ് ഇൻട്രോഗേഷൻ ഐഡിയോളജിക്കൽ ലൊക്കേഷൻ ടെൻ പോയിൻറ്റ് ത്രീ ദ ഹിസ്റ്റോറിക്കൽ കണ്ടക്സ്റ്റ് ടെൻ പോയിൻറ്റ് ഫോർ ഫീച്ചേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ദ എം ഫെമിനിസ്റ്റ് മെത്തേഡ് ടെൻ പോയിൻറ്റ് ഫൈവ് ഫെമിനിസ്റ്റ് മെത്തേഡ്സ് അഡോപ്റ്റ് ദ റിഫ്ലക്സീവ് സ്റ്റാൻസ് ടെൻ പോയിൻറ്റ് സിക്സ് ഫെമിനിസ്റ്റ് ഡിസ്കോസ് ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യ ടെൻ പോയിൻറ്റ് സെവൻ കൺക്ലൂഷൻ ലേണിംഗ് ഒബ്ജക്റ്റീവ്സ് it is expected that after reading unit 10 you will be able to critically present a conceptual framework for analyze analysis of the ways in which social institutions practices and discourses define women and men and their status in society in general and in india in particular unpack the taken for granted assumptions about gender that are common to sociology kel inquiry show how central assumptions about gender relations continue to shape the organizations of the social world regardless of their empirical reality discuss some of the contributions the feminist approach has made to the sociology of gender in particular and to sociology in general 10.1 introduction after discussing in unit 9 the significance of the comparative method in social research we now turn in unit 10 to the e- equally significant applications of the feminist method in contemporary social research you can say that feminist method helps us to look at the social world through the prim- the prism of gender it intersects with other hierarchies and social forms it is true that the classical sociologist generally excluded consideration of actions of, of women consequently discipline of sociology had little to say about women marx dukem and weber made the stray comments on women and family this is the reason why the emergence of feminist sociology has brought much excitement and optimism among the new generation of sociologist after mapping its ideological locations unit 10 covers the historical concept of feminist method next the author identifies three stages in the growth of feminist approach since 1970 and then delineates key factors that mark the feminist method a reference has been made to meriam's methodological guidelines for feminist approach feminist research 10.2 relationship with common sense interrogating ideological location it is critical to make explicit the domain assumptions that underline all theories and methods the sociology of knowledge presumes that knowledge much like social institutions and beliefs is socially constructed and therefore has a necessary symbolic relationship with social class caste groups and communities however while it is easy to discern the domain assumptions that characterize those systems of knowledge which are marginal and seen as overtly political the same is not true of established dominant approaches hence it is the only with the surge of post colonial writings that it is now may appear at orientalism or a west centricity centricity marked the classical comparative approaches unlike this apparent neutrality that shrouded the comparative method the feminist method is seen as overtly political indeed a false but persistent dichotomy is created between the academic and political approaches the same would be true of a marxist or dalit or black repres- perspective in the case of feminist method however the hostility often is intense and responses range from a tendency to trivialize to a tendency to demonize such responses can be understood in the context of the far reaching and fundamental challenges that the feminist method poses to conventional knowledge systems these challenges are contrary to the extent common sense of any existing society and here i would like to stress that this is contrary 
not only to traditional and modern patriarchal common sense but also to modern but dominant theoretical approaches walk stand point one examples of traditional and modern patriarchal common sense illustrative of the traditional patriarchal common sense would be the belief that women are mean minded and petty a fitting replay that tagore uh, in gehre bare gare bare uh, had to for that was indeed they are much as the chinese women's bound feet were bent and deformed illustrative of a modern patriarchal woman common sense would be that women ought to be educated but for the sake of being better homemakers you would know that matrimonial columns in india are replete with the demands for modern but traditional brides in other words selective virtues of modern and traditional women would be combined for customized services to run a system that is essentially patriarchal the question that you may legitimately ask at this point is how to how do the examples in box 10.1 helps us understand the feminist method i would try to answer this at this level by asking a question i often ask in class the, dis- the discussion run like this the rate of divorces is rising because of the increase in the number of educated women the responses to the above statement vary some students in the class agree in an unqualified manner believing indeed that educated women are responsible for breaking homes others are uncomfortable with the covert suggestions that therefore women ought not to be educated and some others make a methodological point uh, suggesting a reformulation of the variables in the stated hypothesis in other words could we not alternatively formulate the statement as follows the rate of divorces is rising because of the unwillingness of educated men to try treat their wives as equals or you would you could say that the rate of divorces is rising because more women are willing to break out of bad marriages rather than suffer a life in silence the purpose of providing these illustrations was to make explicit the connection between everyday common sense and the ease with which it converges with the sociological formulations it is not surprising that uh, talcott persons model of the family assumed women to perform expressive roles and men instrumental roles the point in contention is not that it does not conform to the empirical reality but that is that it takes the extent as given and not problematic the traditional and modern patriarchal norms are thus embedded in the dominant theoretical formulations c johnson so 1991 the dominance of the established method was uh, such that it appeared to be neutralized for what can be more obvious and natural than the fact that men and women are determined different it made uh, sense to claim that anatomy is destiny and to argue that the division of labor was and is biological in origin box number 10.2 examples of anatomy is destiny as recently as the early 1980s the british secretary of state for social service patrick jenkins in a television interview on working mothers stated quite frankly i don't think mothers have the same right to work as fathers if the lord had intended us to have equal rights he wouldn't have created men and women these are biological facts young children do depend on their mothers cited in rose 1999 in classical as well as a neoclassical economic thought we find that there is quite early in history the discussion of women's wages and conditions of their employment for example smith noted that women work for wages but at the same time he thought at that a man should have enough wages to bring up his family he considered women's produ- product- reproductive roles as essential for society adam smith held that women did not have the capacity to take 
rational decisions in economic matters. Here is another common example to show the, how the feminist approach interrogates and challenges very sensitive and deep-rooted structures leading to considerable hostility and at the least discomfort. Often people say that women are making a fuss over a minor thing when they do not wish to change their surname after marriage. However, if the question is posed that if it is so minor then why the fuss when she wishes not to change? Or it would be asked that if it is so trivial, then why do not men change their use surname or marriage on marriage? The issues of course is not of scoring debates point. The issue is that the ordinary customs do often rest on a deep rooted patriarchal structure. Change of surname implies change of lineage, family, belongings and identity and is seen as demonstrative of effectual loyalty. You will clearly note how the comparative approach would not evoke sharp criticism or passionate reaction unlike the feminist. Let us complete reflections and action standpoint one in order to explore our responses to the issues raised above. Reflections and action standpoint one. Organize a debate at your study center on no harm if a woman does not change her surname after marriage. Listen carefully to all the points of view in favor of against the topic and then write a note of about 1000 words in incorporating all the social reasons given by the speakers to for and against the theme. At the end of the note, you may also give your own viewpoint. 15 days after the debate and writing of the note, reflect once again on your views. Do you still hold the same view as you did earlier? 10.3 The Historical Context We noted the 19th century academic context within which the comparative method arose. More recent anthropologists would point to the fact that the colonialism and the access to the study of other cultures was a political context that cannot be wished away. The political context was in a manner camouflaged owing to the unquestioned dominance of Western power and Western scholarship. The native has have just begun talking about talking back. The political context also went unnoticed because the method explicitly advocated value neutrality and indeed took pains to delineate guidelines to avoid obvious pitfalls of bias. In sharp contrast, contrast the feminist approach has an overt political context and also overtly status its value preferences. A commitment to gender quality is embedded within the approach. With the first phase of the women's movement dates back to suffragate movement of the West, see in box 10.3, and the national movement in the colonized countries like ours, it is only with the second phase of the women's movement in the 1970s that a systematic interrogation of social sciences from a feminist approach took place. Unlike the lineage of the comparative method, as shown by Chowdhury 2004, the feminist method has an inextricable link with the feminist movement. The issue here is not whether each practitioner of feminist scholarship is an activist or not. The issue is that the basis of feminist knowledge emerged from a radical movement that questioned the given social order as both natural and divinely destined. We discussed the far-reaching impact of changing or not changing surnames above C box number 10.3 about lesser known facts about feminist movement. Box 10.3 Did you know? Did you know that the suffragette movement of the West was a long drawn out struggle? Despite various feminist movements, formal equality of for women took long to come. Women in late 19th century England were not recognized as individuals in either the legal or liberal theoretical sense. Men still had formal power over the rest of the family and women were mostly excluded from the public sphere. Mill and Taylor along with some early 
യുണൈറ്റഡ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ്സ് ഫെമിനിസ്റ്റ് സച്ച് ആസ് എലിബ എലിസബത്ത് കാൻഡി കാഡി സ്റ്റാൻഡൺ ആൻഡ് സൂസൻ ബി ആൻഡനി ആർഗ്യൂഡ് ദാറ്റ് ദ ഇക്വാളിറ്റി ഓഫ് വിമൻ റിക്വയർഡ് ഫുൾ സിറ്റിസൺഷിപ്പ് ഫോർ വിമൻ ദിസ് വുഡ് ഇൻക്ലൂഡ് ഗിവിങ് വിമൻ എൻ ഫ്രാഞ്ചൈസ്മെൻറ്റ് ആഫ്റ്റർ എയ്റ്റീൻ സിക്സ്റ്റി ഫൈവ് വെൻ മിൽ വാസ് ഇൻ ദ ഇംഗ്ലണ്ട് പാർലമെൻറ്റ് ഹി ഫോർട്ട് ഫോർ വിമൻ സഫ്രേജ് ഹി ഓൾസോ ഫോർട്ട് ടു എമെൻഡ് ദ ലോസ് ദാറ്റ് ഗിവ് ഹസ്ബൻഡ്സ് കൺട്രോൾ ഓവർ ദർ ലൈഫ് വൈഫ്സ് മണി ആൻഡ് പ്രോപ്പർട്ടി ഫർദർ മോർ ബൈ നയൻറ്റീൻ എയ്റ്റീസ് ഇറ്റ് വാസ് ബിക്കമിംഗ് ക്ലിയർ ദാറ്റ് ദ ഫെമിനിസ്റ്റ് സോ സയൻറ്റിഫിക് റെവല്യൂഷൻസ് ലൈക് ദോസ് ഓഫ് ദോസ് ദാറ്റ് കുൻ ഹാഡ് സ്റ്റഡീഡ് വുഡ് നോട്ട് ടേക്സ് പ്ലേസ് വിത്തൌട്ട് റെസിസ്റ്റൻസ് സി ഓൾസോ ഇൻ യൂണിറ്റ് യൂണിറ്റ് സിക്സ് ആസ് കുൻ ഹാസ് നോട്ടഡ് സയൻറ്റിഫിക് ഡിസിപ്ലിൻസ് ആർ ആപ്ലി നെയിംഡ് ദ ഡിസിപ്ലിൻ ത്രൂ ഔട്ട് തോട്ട് ദ ഡിസിപ്ലിൻ തോട്ട് ബൈ മേക്കിംഗ് സം ഐഡിയാസ് seem natural and others almost unthinkable the practice of science involves commitments to such disciplines the commitment of the scholarly community to certain ideas and ways of thinking seems to stand in the way of new theories however useful they might prove to be in the long run as we will shortly discuss in the next section of features of feminist approach to sociology while calling for a critical appraisal of research in women's studies krishna raj said feminist research is expected to use theory not so much to test hypotheses but develop a better understanding through group grounded concepts let us now turn the stages in the growth of feminist approach and then to key features of feminist method but before proceeding to this important section of the unit as you need to complete the reflections and action 10.2 exercise for fully understanding the thinking involved in pursuing the feminist method reflections and actions 10.2 read once again section 10.1 and 10.2 of the unit and write the answers to the following questions on an a separate sheet of paper what are the implications of a woman rest- retaining her maiden surname is it correct for a boy or girl to put the mother's name as guardian in the school admission form is it natural for the male to dominate the family is it possible to write gender sensitive language is it at all necessary to write gender sensitive language if yes why and if no why not so the academic council may please organize the discussions on critically looking at the given social order and encourage learners to write short essays for publications in local newspapers 10.4 features of feminist method much as in the case of comparative method while there are certainly some common features within the vast body of social studies that warrant them being called in comparative of feminist it is important to assert that important dif- differences also characterize what can be broadly termed as feminist method for purpose of elucidation i will first begin with the stages in the development of feminist approach to sociology and then see what would could be seen methodological methodologically as some common features a stages in the development of feminist approach to sociology a useful way to mark the growth of feminist approach to sociology is to identify three stages in the study of gender related issues since 1970 Initially the emphasis was on sex differences and the extent to which such differences might be based in biological properties of individuals. In the second stage the focus shifted to individual level sex roles and uh, socialization exposing gender as the product of specific social arrangements although still conceptualizing it as an individual trait. The hallmark of the third stage is the recognition of the centrality of gender as an organizing principle in all social systems including work politics everyday interactions families economic development low education and a host of other social domains as our understanding of gender has become more social so has our awareness that gender is experienced and organized in race and class specific ways we can now uh, usefully discuss some of uh, some key features of the feminist method in the light of the above three stages b some key features it has been already been emphasized that the important difference existing between the different feminist approaches along with noting down the direct and indirect link with different political and theoretical approaches we are here making as case for delineating what feminist method in sociology and it 
To start with, we can clearly distinguish between the traditional social approach to gender and the feminist approach. Most introductory social text, sociology textbooks still treat gender as an individual attribute and gender quality equal inequality as, as an outcome of childhood socialization. In contrast to the current feminist thinking stress stresses the far greater input of the division of labor, power, social control, violence and ideology as structural and inter actional basis of inequality not only between women and men but among women and men of diverse social classes and racial ethnic groups gorelick referred to maria mia who had in the 1970s provided methodological guidelines of feminist research she stressed the need for replacing the practice of value free research search with the conscious bias towards women struggle for social change secondly she made a case of cons- conscientization of the research as well as the researched let us now outline the following key fact- features that mark the feminist method feminist sociology urges that the re- research designs were based on men's experience Feminist social scientists demanded a fundamental transformation in how questions are asked and what criteria are employed to define an answer, answer as, a, as acceptable. C10.4 and Unit 4. Illustrative of this is the long practice of assuming that the head of the household is the eldest male member. It has been increasingly shown that the number of female head at the households in the rural areas in India is very high. But at the very concept of a head of household was based on the urban middle class men's experience that women are housewives. Another very common example in the manner that the category of work assumed that it means regular work outside the home for which the wages were given. However, it has been increasingly realized that women for the most part of work in the informal sector in what are termed as household production units. Instances in the city of Delhi would be a bangle and toy making, sardosi, assembling of electronic parts that are subcontracted to poor women in the slums, domestic workers, etc. Indeed, cons- uh, concerted efforts were made in uh, the 1991 consensus to educate census, to educate both census personnel and ordinary citizens that breaking stones or carrying bricks is also work. Apart from this informal work which is growing with globalization, the idea that the housework is also work is still considered a line. Ten, uh, box 10.4 about ignoring women. 10.4 Box 10.4 Women ignored force from social research. One general line of criticism of feminist is that women are absent from the social analysis and social world of classical sociology. The language and the analysis of classical sociology is that of men, male activities and experience and the parts of society dominated by males. Marx and Durkheim were typical of the 19th century European writers who assumed that the social world was primarily that of the male activities. Feminist sociology is uh, against a separation and uh, re- reflect. reification of a division between the public and private. In sociology, when gender was seen primarily as an organizing principle of the family, the other areas of social science were falsely conceptualized as ungendered. The division between an ungendered public sphere and a gendered private sphere is both ideological and misleading. See Box 10.5. Illustrative of this would be the fact that male professionals would be preferred in the corporate sector and the argument given would be that men are more committed to work while women would be distracted. They get married and pregnant. The significant point is that men too get married and become fathers but the dominant assumption is that private spheres comprising the cleaning, cooking, shopping, childcare, attendant, parent teachers meet, looking after the sick would be the women's work. The public sphere of the work for women cannot therefore be recognized until the private sphere is. In developing countries and increasingly in the developed ones too, there are part-time or full-time female domestic workers. Sri Lankan, Filipino and Bangladeshi women among other were 
are migrating across national borders to run middle class homes. This leads us to the third point elaborated below about the intersection of gender with other categories like class or ethnicity. Box 10.5 Division between the public and private domains One aspect of long history of modern urban industrial society was the development of a separation between public and private spheres. This had not always been separated in traditional societies, although there was often a sex-based division of labor and male dominance. But there is no doubt that with the development of capitalism, cities and industry, a public sphere dominated by men and uh, male activities developed. Women generally became restricted to the private sphere of household and family and had limited involvement in political, economic or even social public life. While women are involved in more public activities, there were movements to the restrict the participation of women in public life, for example, factory legalization and the family wage. Feminist sociology recognized the diversity of gender status in the social order. Commenting on the refining methods of study, Krishna Raj wrote, a positive feature of feminist method is the attention it pays to context rather than the predefined operationalized hypothesis. The feminist sociology focuses on statuses that intersect with the social class, caste, race, ethnicity, and international division of labor. Gender is therefore imbued with enormous differences in economic opportunity and political power. Gender categories are not homogeneous, as mentioned above, the domestic worker function as the bridge between the public and the private domains for, the facil for she facilitates her employees move into the public domain by taking over the latest so so socially productive work, filling the gap as it were between the two domains. Although domestic service is low in hierarchy of occupation, its easy availability throughout the world was Host economically vulnerable women with or without particular skills, training or educations to migrate to distant places both nationally and internationally. Feminist research uh, endures to emphasize diversified experience and practices of women in terms of their race, age, ethnic, historical backgrounds. It makes a conscious uh, effort to include more uh, than to exclude sociological concepts such as class status honor help in examining women place in society box 10.6 male or female inequalities classical sociologists generally focused on differences and inequality marx was most explicit in this but durkheim and weber d developed various ways of examining differences and inequality issues such as the revision of labor exploitation and power domination and authority emphasis the difference and inequality yet male female inequalities or racial and ethnic inequalities form a little part of uh, classical sociology the feminists have identified hierarchy patriarchy as the social system of inequality but classical sociology had only limited analysis of this Marx and Engels did have a model of male female inequality but it derived from the property and economic considerations Weber analyzed the patriarchy, but male or female inequalities were not this primary concern in such analysis. Indeed, the belief that the women move only on marriage or with the families rested on a set of patriarchal assumptions such as that women are primarily and solely homemakers, that they are not independent workers and that therefore migration from them can only be a, an accompanying members of the migrant, again believed to be the adult male breadwinner. Fact suggests otherwise. In terms of the scale of migration, women and children outnumber adult men. Of 150 million migrants worldwide, it is estimated by the international labor organizations that 36 to 42 million are migrant workers and 45 to 55 million are members of their families. Furthermore, female headed migrant households are less likely to have adult male family members accompanying them male-headed household. According to the United Nations High Commission for Refugees, women constitute 51% of the 6.1 million refugees from whom information by gender is available. 10.5. Feminist method adopt the reflexive stance. 
the transformations we seek in the disciplines are also transformations of our own way of thinking it is useful and reassuring then to share with others that the actual experts and languages of women is the central agent of feminist social science and social source scholarship feminist researchers have over the last 3 de- last decades been increasingly emphasizing the need to hear the voices of women malaiga karlekar writes my confidence grew in large part of uh, part because of the ease with which women are today willing to share to speak and to rethink their lives be- again before i entered back into the field uh, field again i had many encounters of uh, mutual sharing and trust which assured me that a context is not impossible to create and even recreate a new a few field workers has to be s- tell the story of many lives once of which is surely her own and when those voices she wishes to hear speak to her with a poignancy and an almost crystal clear honesty she would hard to suppress too many questions on her role and the problems of interpretation understanding and so on 20 years ago i felt threatened pained inadequate by the by the honesty and the reaching out of for answers today i first i find it easier to cope with the expectations of respondents not only within myself but also because the scope of child care employment domestic conflict conclusion mechanism and so on resolution mechanisms and so on have increased and been enlightened legitimized increased and been legitimized i can at least try and work towards some solutions to the age old problem of wife because with the battered women woman with the bal balmiki i did not even have the courage to ask the question not only because i felt that it would be a invasion of privacy but also because i did not know how to impro- approach it engendering sociologies means inter- uh, interrogating the pro- the process by which uh, sociological discourses was gen- gen- gendered by putting forth feminist reflexive understanding for sociology and emphasis uh, emancipatory hence for those of us committed to reflexive modernity the task of ente- en- engendering is is one of underlying the way in which sociological discourses is patriarchal middle class hindu and brahminical as reg the uphill said the uphill takes is one the reconceptualization basics categories of analysis once the experience of marginalized have been brought to center now at the end of the unit let us complete the reflections and action standpoint to exercise in order to generate more debate on the theme of feminist approach to sociology reflection and action after once again reading the entire textbook of unit 10 discuss some of the following questions at least five adults around you then write the answers to the questions on a separate sheet of paper based on your exp- answers right and essay on my vision of sociology questions like the classical sociologists do you also have considered that there are natural differences between women and men do you reckon the female to be associated with the world of the nature while men are associated with culture do you regard women to be emotional and men to be rational in their thought and activities do you agree with the observation that classical definition of the social world do not include all parts of human actions and interaction would you like to see the uh, sociology that includes social surf social spaces as occupied by women and the children and social domains where women's experience have been centralized centered 10.6 feminist discourse in india the feminist discourse in india was engaged itself around its critique of marriage and family in this context we may say that the feminist in india has articulated the debate in the last three decades of the 20th century by throwing not only around a disconstruction of opposition of women but also its integrations and con- transformation in real life situations focusing on the economic class aspects of women's oppression socialist feminism has enga- engaged in discussing the relationship between sexual economic life and classial oppression scholars like hansman and uh, provided a socialist feminist critique of marriage family and community as 
they feel that the original left critic is inadequate similarly john has studied family and marriage in a historical perspective and shown how the social reformist movement during the 19th and 18th century early 20th century engaged with the domestic domain by a critic of tradition as embodied by specific subjects such as windows child brides and others not just confined to the upper and the middle class sociality social reality the feminist in india have drawn or, or attention to emerging critics by dalits and other caste women formation of an old india group by the name of national federation of dalit women symbolizing another era of debates around caste based inequalities and indian feminist face on challenges that this critic brought out into a open and above invisibility of dalit women's perception of exclusion from the mainstream of the feminist movement violence against women and local authorities in a inequalities were on now they are entering the domain of no marriage and the family in the right light of new family common occurrences clashes of perceptions about sexuality and gender relationship for an account of human studies and sociology see john 2003 Ten point seven conclusion. We may conclude the, uh, with a quotation from Ferry Marx Lober Hayes X that the feminist approach works to make a gender visible in social phenomena. Asking it how we and why social processes or standards and opportunities are differ systematically for women and men. This approach also recognizes that gender inequality is inextricable in total with with the other system of inequality. Looking at the world. through a gender lens thus implies two seemingly contradictory task first it means unpacking the taken from granted assumptions about gender that pervade sociological research and social life more generally at the same time looking through a gender lens means showing just how central assumptions about gender continue to be the organization of the social world regardless of their empirical reality the task mentioned in the quotation are in the line with the current practices of sociology almost all over the world there is a conscious effort in higher education institutions to integrate theory and research on gender in the uh, curricula as a whole this indicates the current of transformation in the discipline of sociology instead of arguing for a separate feminist methodology in which only women can carry out feminist research you can make a case for locating feminist research within the theoretical and methodological discourse in the mainstream social science the study of gender occupies now a significant space in sociological research the contribution of the feminist approach to sociology is not confined to providing narrative of women's experience and the highlight of the science of sexism in the conventional technology the feminist approach has contributed to the inclusion of new themes and concept you may wonder if the feminist approach is the harbinger of a paradigm shift in sociology in the works like feminist foundation towards transforming sociology edited by kms at all you may find claims to this effect we may agree or disagree with such a reading of the impact of the feminist method on sociology you have the right to argue the feminist search has now grown quite sensitive to its critics and as a result of its tends today to be more inclusive it is inclusive in the sense of focusing on more diverse experiences and perspectives of women of different races ages colors cultures and histories this tends have been a usual analysis of gender relations which are increasingly correlated with the issues of racism ethnocentrism and socio electronic economic formations feminism is no more a fade and the feminist approach is a ref- is reflective of larger transformations in the perception perceptions and construction of social reality further reading said r a 1987 natural women cultured women a feminist perspective of sociological theory tong rosemary 1989 feminist thought a comparative introduction west west view press bold for a discussion of patriarchy as a system characterized by power domination hierarchy and competition 
John Mary and Janaki Nair, 1998, A Question of Science, The Sexual Economics of Modern India, Kali for Women, New Delhi. Chaudhary Maitri, 2004, Feminist, Feminism in India, Women un, Unlike Kali, New Delhi. Dubaios, 18, 1983, Passionate Scholarship, Notes on Values, Knowing and Method in Feminist Socialist Activities, I, ING Bowles and R. Dully Clarin, Theories of Women's Studies, Routledge and Kagan Paul in London. Thank you very much.